In part 1 of this video, we looked at CLI templates. In this part, we will explore feature templates. The feature template offers a lot of flexibility. Each feature template defines the configuration for a particular software feature. Some feature templates are mandatory and some are optional. So let's go to templates. So now let's create our feature template. Before that, let's, let's have a look at the feature templates. Let's go to the default feature template. And these are the list of default feature templates that is available within the system. Now you can either use this feature template as is, or you can make a copy or a clone of this feature template and modify it based on your requirement. We will create our own feature template. So let's go ahead and click feature template. Let's choose the device model as VH Cloud. Let's call this VH branches feature. So all the templates that are having a star mark are mandatory. So let's go ahead and create our own system template rather than using the default one. So let's call this VH system template. Within a feature template, you can mark the parameters either as global or device specific. Now here, things like site ID, system IP will be device specific. So we'll change that to device specific. System IP is already device specific. So let's go ahead and change the GPS locations to device specific as well. Let's quickly look at the advanced options. Uh, we don't have to change anything here. So we'll go ahead and hit save. We don't need a logging template for now. So let's come back and uh, create our own transport VPN. So let's create a VPN zero template. So again, rather than using the default one, we'll create one template. Let's call this VHVPN0 template. This is for VPN0, so we'll keep it global. Let's also give it a name. So again, a global parameter as transport VPN. Now here we should add our default route. So let's go to IPv4 route and then add our prefix to it. Now the prefix would be global. So we'll just add the default prefix. Let's add our next stop. So the next stop would be device specific. So let's change that to device specific. And just name it as uh, VPN 0 G 0 slash 0 for better understanding. And then hit save. Let's go back to our transport VPN. And now we'll create our VPN interface template. Let's call this VPN interface G0 slash 0. That's the interface that's connecting to the transport. So we need to make this interface as no shutdown. So I'll make it a global parameter. This is 0 slash 0. Uh, the configuration is static, it's device specific. I'm just going to change the name. Call it VPN zero interface GE zero slash zero. Don't need the IPv6. Let's come down. This is a tunnel interface, so let's click the tunnel interfaces on. And within the tunnel interface, we'll put the color as private one, which is again a global parameter. We'll do a restrict connections. And 
and uh, we don't need any other configurations I think and we can go ahead and look at the advanced options uh, by default it's already IPsec so we'll leave it as it is we don't need to do any other configuration so let's hit save and that's our VPN interface configuration now again we have to give a VPN 5 and 2 which is a management interface configuration let's create our template let's call this VH VPN 5 and 2 template so this is VPN 5 and 2 a global parameter Let's change the name, give a name of management VPN. And in my setup, I don't need a default route. If you need default route, you can add an IPv4 route. But in my setup, I don't need it. So I'm just going to hit save. Then add an interface to the VPN 5 and 2. So let's add our interface template. So let's create another template. VPN 5 and 2, it's interface ETH0 template. Let's do an OSHA down. This is ETH0 in, for all my routers. The uh, configuration is dynamic. I'm just changing it to get the IP from DHCP. Uh, so there's no tunnel interface, so let's go ahead and hit save. So VPN templates are done. Uh, so let's go ahead and also add our SNMP template. We don't need a service VPN for now, so just add an SNMP template as well. So let's create an SNMP template. And let's call this SNMP read only. Do an SNMP no shutdown. And let's create a view first. So let's add a view. It's a global parameter again. So let's call this V2. And then list of OIDs. So I'm going to just add the high level OID, this 1.3.6.1. So respond to generic SNMP queries. So I'll just go back to community name. Then add our community. I'm just going to keep it to Cisco. Authorization is read only, and I'm going to choose the view just created. Let's hit save. And that's our SNMP as well. We don't need anything else so let's go ahead and hit create template and there we have this create the template and you can see that it has 11 feature templates associated to it now any changes to this template will change the configurations of the device that has this template attached so let's go ahead and attach our devices and we will attach uh, vh5 to 9 1 to 4 have already been attached to the cli templates in my previous video so let's go ahead and hit next. Again, uh, we can individually uh, enter the parameters for each of each of the VH, but rather than that, we'll use the CSV method like we used in the CLI template. So let's download the CSV file. Let's save it. Let me open the CSV file. Just expand it. And we need to fill up all the parameters here. So I have uh, another Excel sheet where I've filled all the parameters already. So I'm just going to copy paste the configuration from this Excel sheet to that CSV file. Now let me save it.
I've saved it. Well, let's go ahead and upload a CSV file. And all the parameters have been uploaded. So let's quickly check that. So we have all the parameters uploaded from the CSV file. So let's go ahead and hit next to configuration. Okay. I'll just wait for the configuration to get pushed. Configuration is done. Go back to templates. Now you can see that this template has five devices associated to it. Thus, you can see how templates offer an easy way to create or update multiple devices at a time, and particularly the feature templates, which provide an intuitive GUI based option to configure and associate them to the devices. That's it for this demo, and thanks for watching.